Hello, hello, uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is a video I'm making for a subscriber. He's my first subscriber to the channel, and he left a comment on my first video I did about uh, making a video of startup costs, uh, what what I, my startup costs were. I am located in Kentucky, so each state is a little, a little different. I excluded diesel costs because my truck doesn't have def, and I have two tanks, so and my mileage is a little different. So it, it, that's too much of a variable for me to include in startup costs. Keep in mind, you can write off your first year $5,000 worth of startup costs. Okay, keep that in mind, and I stayed right below that, as you can see on the screen. But I'll get into it. I'm going to break it down. $537 off the top, LegalZoom, LegalZoom.com. I've started three LLCs with them, and they're awesome. They send you a very professional binder with all your documentation, uh, I'd go with them. I, I just pay the price because I don't... This is my thinking. Uh, a lot, you can do this free, okay? Let me point that out off the top. You can do this for free if you want to cut out. I think their lowest package is like 250 300 somewhere in there. But I get the highest package because I want the tax consultation with a professional uh, tax accountant. Because I want to know what I need to track, what I need, what I can write off. That's how I knew that I could write off this 4836, okay? LegalZoom, $537. They'll do everything for you. They do it right. You tell them what, they're, what you're going to be doing. Uh, General Freight Carrier, they will set you up what kind of LLC you want. I went with the pass-through entity in LLC. Uh, and that's a whole different conversation as far as how taxes work. Next, I financed my truck. It's actually the truck cost me 22, but I actually took out 33,000. It's it's a uh, unsecured uh, auto loan, so I took out 33,000 to have extra cash flow to have that cash sitting there in case I had to fix something like the AC compressor, which I did, and I'm glad I took out that extra loan. It was only 22.5 is what I paid the guy, and I had that left over up to 33, so it was about 11,000 left over. Insurance, and this is the big one. This is the big baddie. 3700 down. I'm 25 years old. I've never had a crash. I, my record's clean. Uh, I'm a good driver. No speeding tickets. Nothing like that. I had to put down $3,700, 25 years old, and $1,647 a month after that. You don't have to pay that your first month. This comes out of this 3700 down, okay? Important. Your first month comes out of your down payment, okay? That's to start your uh, 1 million liability and 100k cargo. It has to be a million with a 2 million aggregate, and it has to be 100k cargo insurance to sign up with Amazon Relay. So this is how much I had to pay. This could be very different from you. If, if you're 40-something, 50-something, you've never had a crash, you might have had a few. Actually, my dad, uh, he only pays like, I think he has a million insurance and, and like 75k cargo or something like that and he pays like 200 a month you know so and he's been doing he's been in the trucking industry for uh what he's doing now 11 years and then before that i think he was in it two or three years after that so he's he's been in a long time and his dlt number has uh, a lot of experience so that's why he has such a low monthly payment uh next up you will have to get this dlt and mc number it's 300 dollars, and i want to put here about 21 days to go active from the date that you uh, fill everything out and submit it, okay, and pay. Okay, 21 days. You have, so the last five days that you're waiting, get your insurance. That gives it long enough to get into the system, you'll go active, that's what I did. Uh, that way you'll save money, uh, and then that next month you're not like, oh, I gotta get started, I gotta get started, I ain't gonna have the money to pay this $1,647, okay? Uh, do that. The last five days you're waiting for it to go active, that 21st day that you're waiting for it to go to active, get your insurance. Okay, next, equipment, e-straps, fire extinguisher, triangles, uh, stuff uh, you need, like a, a little $10 booklet, pre-trip inspection booklet, so little things like that. I think my total personal came to 150 It's probably less than that, but I just got a good round number, 150 DAT low board, if you're planning on doing not only Amazon, but DAT, I get the highest package of DAT because if you don't, you can't see real-time postings and somebody will get good runs before you can see it. Uh, but I, I like staying local, so I do Amazon and they pay. They 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 beat, I, I'm telling you, the brokers that I find on DAT, they pay so little, man. They're so greedy. 
Um, I'll see the same load on there for weeks until they finally up the pay and somebody books it before I can. So in that regard, I think Amazon's better. I, that's my personal opinion. Unless you want to drive like through five states or more and then just hopefully get something back and come back, um, it's not really worth it. I would do mainly Amazon Relay. I would do mainly Amazon Relay if it was me. Uh, that's what I'm doing right now because, and I'm about to cancel this because honestly, man, I mean, I'm making three to five grand a week, guys, from Amazon Relay, and I'm staying local. I'm, it's like four hours worth of work. You, you can't beat that. You cannot beat that. Okay. Um, your DA, your DOT physical, and that's your DOT medical card. It's a big paper certificate it's a big old paper it was zero for me because before i did this i actually drove for a contractor through usps and i i ran uh, usps routes to post offices what i do now for amazon crazy right and what i made there that, that's how i got my dlt uh i got it free they paid for it uh before i could start driving uh but it's usually 50 to 75 dollars if you do that so I didn't include that in my total startup cost but it's usually about a 5k startup cost but uh, I wanted to talk about that I used to do USPS uh, full-time and, and every week I would make I would take home for a whole week working for a contractor through USPS I, I would take home exactly the same amount that I make in one day with Amazon relay one day I worked five days a week I make what I made five days a week working for USPS, a contractor for USPS, a box truck driver, and I make it in one day. One. Isn't that insane? Okay. Now, my total comes out to $4,836. What I found out in my tax cons consultation that I had, up to 5 k you can write off. Now, my truck that I bought, it had no AC but the fan worked and, and I worked with it for about three weeks before and it's like 99 degrees now in Kentucky uh, it's the end, uh, end of August now so I finally went and got that fixed parts and everything costed about 1400 so I mean I could roll it into my startup cost but technically it's not it's more of maintenance but I just wanted to show you this maintenance bill for just the AC compressor and the end dash radiator okay parts labor and all $1400 guys that's not cheap so I want you to realize, if you make 5K a week, don't go living high on the hog, as they say, and spending, don't up your lifestyle. Do not do it, because tires are more expensive. You're driving a big truck now, especially if this is your first time coming into it. Tires are more expensive. Individual parts are more expensive. Just the AC compressor and dryer assembly alone were $587. And then the radiator part was 385 on top of that. And then you got to add in your labor costs with your mechanic. So it's not cheap. I mean, I know that tires, especially if you don't get retreads, can be upwards of like anywhere between four to 600 per tire. Okay. And you're driving a dually. Uh, your steer tires will be a little bit more because they're a little bit more important. Um, but you're, you have four back tires. So that's six tires. So times, you know, Let's say, let's give it right in the middle, $500 a tire. That's 3K, okay, on tires, okay? But I want to make this video to show you startup costs, what I paid, um, and I made this in a week, okay, with Amazon Relay, only Amazon Relay. You cannot rent a truck and expect to make a lot of money in this industry okay i wanted to get that out there because i started my first trip i rented from Ryder, okay before i got my own truck you cannot do that i made like 80 bucks on one run it doesn't work after diesel and everything and the renting bill it's not worth it so do this my rent uh, for the truck, when I rented the truck, my first run, was 2 k a week. And that's with Penske, Ryder, they're all about the same. They're doing away with Amazon discounts, no more of that. I kept it for one day because, like, there's no way to make money with this. Because, you got to think, say you make 5 k gross, 2 k of that's gone to renting a truck, okay? Take about another K for diesel, 
Okay, 2K. Now, that's not bad, but you got to realize you can't just take, you got to worry about your bills and your bills for uh, the trucking. Okay, what about your electric? What about your, uh, what about your <laughs> insurance bill coming? What if you have insurance on your personal car? What about your car payment? Okay, 2K a week. It's got to come out of that, and you got to have, you got to put some back for stuff like this. So, you. That's my opinion. I want to end the video here, guys. It's 12 minutes in. Please do hit the like and subscribe button. I want to keep dropping uh, content. I don't believe in charging for content like this. Uh, I, I try to bring value. I appreciate you. Pre I appreciate you guys watching. If you have watched this far, and I will see you in the next video. I plan on recording tonight when I get my truck back. When my wife gets off work, we're gonna go pick it up from the garage. And yeah, that'll be it. Hit the like button, please. It helps me out a lot. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you for your time, taking the time to watch this video. Uh, comment down below if you want to know anything else. Um, I found my truck on Facebook Marketplace. I don't know if if that's if you if if you don't know where to look. That's in my opinion the best place to look. Uh, try to find one that's paid off. That's another tip. Try to find one that's paid off. Preferably one that's an older gentleman that's been in the industry a while. And, and mine, he had all the maintenance records. So I can see anything and everything that's been done to the truck. Uh, but, yeah, that's it for now. See you guys next time. Peace.